Alright, welcome back to Let's Play Victoria 2, the Persian Republic. And unfortunately, this is now a state. I don't know why it wasn't a state last time we were playing, or maybe I just didn't check before it ended, but uh, it's now a state. And uh, so that we can't take that anymore. Uh, at least not without some more difficulty. Uh, and one thing I realized is that we are in um, the Liberal Party, so we have no jingoism. So it, it's not possible to fabricate a claim on a state or something like that. So we can't do anything right now uh, as far as taking Georgia or Muscovy. Um, so, yeah. So, uh, Zhao's getting pretty close to unifying the rest of China. And they're gonna want these places, uh, eventually. So, one of the things I think I should do is move my troops from the other colonies over here into Shanghai. Um, just to, I don't know, prevent things from going badly. Now, we, uh, are waiting on our, um, naval bases to build. Because we need them to be level 5 to build uh, Dreadnoughts. And the only thing we can hope is that we don't get into a war with somebody with Dreadnoughts before we get to that point. Because it's going to take several years. Um, so I guess <laughs> the potential Great War with Smolensk is not necessarily going to happen. It should be very bad. Um... Because I didn't realize the NGF was allied with Amalfi, or else I w wasn't paying attention. If we're going to have to do that, though, we should put some troops over here. Yeah. There's no reason to have them down here now. Move them up here. Move these guys over here. And I don't think I need two sets of units over here for them, so. I don't think it'll come to that. But just in case. Just reorganize my units again a little bit. Because if we're thinking about a great war, i got to be more organized about this. I can't just kind of sit around. Fucking York. So let's get started. I'm working on electrical power, and I'll probably get uh, um, semi-automation next. As I expected, Shuns went to war with, with Zhao. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should uh, put these guys over here, too. Well, that's good. I don't expect trouble with them, but if I get in war with somebody else, then we could have some serious issues. Uh, who do I expect to be the most likely to go to war with? Well, Smolensk or Muscovy to be sure. If my politics happen to switch back to something I could actually do something with. Um, Shun or Melfi. So I basically have troops set up to those effects anyway. Alright. Okay, let's just take all of these guys. Just send them up here. And then we'll sort them out in Antioch. And we had some actual good units over here, I think. No, these are all garbage. Maybe in Cuttack. Eh, still mostly junk. Um. Well, it's a matter of whether I expect trouble or not, and I don't really expect trouble. I've just been thinking about that a lot, whether I should, uh, 
Who's that? The Great Land. Okay. What were they occupying there? Maybe secret Swedish uh, rebels. <laughs> like that one time. Yeah, and of course the assimilation policies got rescinded, which is bad. Across Antarctica. Of course. Let's do it. Let's, uh... Increase our relations with dudes. I don't know. Shun doesn't really need a reason to declare war on us. Um, maybe we'll get a warning if they start re lowering their relations with us. Okay. Getting some fascists in the upper house. I don't know if that's good. Existentialism? I mean, the birth rate thing. Our economy's still doing okay. Looks like they're gonna annex Zhao there. Only two players in this. Up. Okay. The NGF in Great Britain. The United Kingdom, I should say. Rebels in Vondestan. What, what the heck? You can deal with that. Independence rebels, huh? Nitrates in Loristan. I mean, I guess that's, that's fine. Um... If they got independence, I'd lose prestige, so I don't really want that to happen. Don't get me wrong. How much trouble am I expecting over here? That's a good question. Um, I wonder if it's enough to build forts. Well, okay, I'll do it. Anyway... I think I've got some really good forts over here. Let's go ahead and move some of these guys up to there. I don't know. Like... One of the problems I've had is that I, I've just keep been keeping these guys here when I could have used them other places, but... I don't know. Seems like a waste of time for the most part. Although, if I did get in a great war, I would need them all, I would think. And there's no reason not to uh, organize them, though. Definitely put them into coastal provinces. Okay. I guess one of the advantages that uh, to being in a liberal government is that my infamy will cool off quite a bit. I suppose if you can consider that an advantage. I don't know if I would. We'd be definitely we'd definitely be doing much better economically if we uh I 
go. If we weren't in, uh, liberal, but whatever. As long as I don't actually close my factories, I'm okay. That way, if I ever got the means with which to, uh... Reopen and, uh... Do stuff with them later, I, I could. Okay, that looks good. This doesn't. Let's move them all to coastal provinces. I could put some in France's provinces. Yeah, we can re uh sphere the Zoro Pope. You guys are dumb. Probably need more artillery up here. Alright, we want to leave... Well, actually, that's... Those are all good units. They're very unlikely to actually go after, um... That place, so... <laughs> They're leaving. Why are they leaving? I guess they're just rotating around. Yeah, I want a good defensive general. Uh, morale. That's pretty good. What are you? You're garbage. Uh, right. I just want some things that border them. Yeah. The, uh... Immortals lost their cool flag. Okay, okay. So... Let's find the actual good units here. I'm not going to consider them good units. And if we get into a war in Europe, we can use these guys as occupiers. Very disbalanced army. I'll go ahead and send you here. Infantry. What about our African units? That's pretty decent, actually. I'm just trying to find units, uh, just in case we have to fight Amalfi, we're gonna need units in a bunch of places over here. Well, let's check to see if I have any... Huh. Well, now.
Let's build some actual regulars. I definitely need more artillery, so. And you, since you're like out there in places. Infantry. Whatever. <laughs> what about Navy? Now I want to save it for building um, awesome ships. Fascist soup kitchens? Fascist party has been organizing soup kitchens for the unemployed in one of our states, citing the need to protect and preserve the pure-born Persian industrial workers from the ravages of international capitalism. <laughs> Several other parties, along with leading liberal and conservative dailies, have expressed sharp criticism of the party's work, claiming that it, in the end, amounts to little less than a bribery and buying of voter support. The fascists themselves do not seem overly concerned about these accusations. Party's work is not illegal, and therefore not a government concern. Poor strata gain consciousness and militancy become more fascist. Ooh. Oh, but they get uh, bonuses to stuff. That's cool. Because this, this is just a ruse to build party support for the party and this nonsense. Uh, uh, we don't really have to worry about fascists. Fascists are the least of our concerns. We're too well off to have the fascists do anything. I wonder if these guys be here. Since it's still next to that province. Okay, that looks okay. Other transports. Not that I need speed here, it's just, uh. Be be it would be nice to know where they were. But, we might as well use them. Actually, um, let's go ahead and get all the good units out of these, too. And send them up to Europe. Why does it always, like, do that weird clicking thing? Because we built, we had a lot of, an awful lot of uh, good units built in Africa. Uh, hell, there's more uh, good units than bad units here. And even if we did need the, uh, units down here, they only have 12 guys. Maybe I'd keep one unit of regulars and guards and stuff down here. Hmm, that's probably a good idea. Okay, we'll keep that unit there. Sure. 
All right. Okay. We might have enough units to defend uh, France's um, thing here. So we just got communist uh, rebel organization. That's pretty good if we wanted that. Okay, so the armies are starting to build. That's good. What about my naval bases? I think that's the sound I'm hearing now. Okay, so we won't be able to build... Dreadnoughts until about World War I time. In, in our timeline. It's almost done. I didn't uh, expand this one last time. I guess. It's good to keep uh, keep on top of these if you need to have them built sooner rather than later. I didn't expand that one last time, but it's fine. I guess I'll build one in uh, Ceylon. And uh, Chittagong. I think I already built one here. Yeah. And why not? Here too. Okay, mostly redundant factories are places that have very low population. A lot of ammunition factories. Colonial Exposition is open. Shun is number nine now. When they're not at war, their score really drops. Okay. So, yeah, we just finished one. Okay, Turkmenia. Eleven more pursuits, okay. Sure. Not sure why. It did that twice in a row. Never seen that happen before. Eh, whatever. All 
There we go. So, semi automation. Something we definitely want. are doing there we go and Karachi let's check fifty six seventy five and that's been going forever. Oh, this is encouraging craftsmen. Okay. Let's remove that focus. Oh, that's a lot of patch ton here. Or maybe not. Maybe I read that wrong. It just has some patch ton. That's an, that's an accepted culture, so... I guess we'll try here. I right, just started. Twenty two. Sixty, that's pretty going pretty fast. Forty eight. Seventy six, okay. This is going pretty quick. Let's get them out of there. And stop marching. Go down here and get these guys. Here. A lot of war prep for a war that probably isn't going to happen. But it's better than having them sit around and... I don't know. When's my next election? Three years, jeez. Gotta sit around doing nothing for a while. Frickin' liberals, man. Ruining my plans, man. I should have known better, I guess. Maybe France will get into a war or something. <laughs> Okay. Ooh. Reform. Yes. Now I only have those two and then Arts Endowment and then we'll be done. It's just a matter of whether those are going to get support or not. I'd like to see these red bars expanding. Trustee system. Oh, we already had that. Eh, whatever. Island with Flanders. Oh, I put it in the wrong province. 
Okay. Maybe the Zoro Pope will go with, go to war with the Melfi again. Who knows? And go to Gallipoli, I suppose. Oil, hey, there we go. That's what we want to see. Yeah, host the games. We're gonna lose. And they're back up to number eight. That's okay. Oh, hey, we, we hosted it. Sweet. 55 prestige. Oh, I read that wrong. Yeah, it was hosting the games. Okay. Let's just go into assembly line. That unlocks a lot of cool stuff. And eventually, we're going to want to get uh, Holmsteinian Thaw. I didn't know they were a dictatorship, but okay. We want to get this. Which is good. Tanks. But we can't do that till 1910. Immigrations. No. What is my plurality at? 100%? Hells yeah. Ufria. Sugar, whatever. I don't care that much. Stirrings of Indian nationalism. The people of India are diverse, consisting of numerous cultures and languages throughout the subcontinent. Seldom has there, has there been any serious credence given to the idea of a single union uh, crossing all cultural boundaries, save by force of arms. This has recently changed, with Indian nationalists in the Persian Republic calling for a true union, one powerful enough to resist all imperialist efforts to conquer it. Surprisingly, the calls have been re received a great deal of attention. So interesting. Um. Well. This is bad. International crisis in West Morocco. So this is about, oh, the NGF in the United Kingdom. Let's see which side France decides to support. If France supports this side, we'll support that side. Machine parts, excellent. So Malfi packs the, backs the NGF. Prospector strikes iron in Taipei. It's lead. Yeah, iron's better. Okay. And I don't really. I don't really know why I should care about that. I have so much stuff that things like that don't really matter. I just want to get the majority of my quality troops up into Europe. Why are these guys at five? Huh. Oh, somebody else's troops are sitting there. Okay. An awful lot of these are going to be quality troops, too, so... Well, 
I'll just have to see. Okay, power loom, alternating current, political science. And mungu, cotton, whatever. I want to see what's happening with this uh, crisis. Nobody's back and nobody. If you humiliate Cousins Billy against Amalfi in Smolensk. Oh, we're supporting them. God, I hope this doesn't start a great war. Because <laughs> it will. Over West Morocco, one of the most worthless provinces in the game. It's terrible. Well, at least I prepared for it a little bit. If it is, if it does. Oh no. Oh no. Ooh. <laughs> that looked bad for a second. <laughs> okay, I think it's a good end to the session. We barely dodged a bullet with that, that uh, Great War there. I know people want to see that, but I don't want a Great War with the NGF. These guys are the only ones I'm actually scared of. And it's not necessarily that I should be scared of them, because actually France has nobody here. Maybe I should be scared of them, because they have lots of guys. Especially if they mobilize. Yeah, that military score of 6 is very deceptive. Considering they've got a liberal government power, holy crap! And, you know, they might not be... be they might not be ahead of me at tech or anything but like that, but... Um, a lot of my guys are crappy. So, okay, I will see you next time on Let's Play Victoria 2. We'll probably end up getting into something and getting killed. If I can Ugh, have a war happen. Ugh, stupid liberals.